Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with something a little bit different. And I apologize for cutting that video off from yesterday, the video that you saw. Hubby was out and about and he rang through on my cell phone and he never does that. So I needed to make sure that everything was okay. And it was, but he beeped through. So I had to cut that video short, which I was at the end anyway, but yeah, I, I apologize for that. But today I have something a little bit different for you. I, When I was doing that finds and fails video that you saw yesterday, it popped into my head that I haven't done a video recently of my top items. I talk about them as I'm making a video. If I show something, I say, you know, this is probably one of my top 10 items. But I thought, you know, while I'm doing it, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some things real quick. And these are my tops, these are the things that I buy again and again and again from the Dollar Tree. I They work well, I think that they're an excellent deal, and I just keep going back there to get them instead of another store. If I can save money getting things at the Dollar Tree, I will do that. And you know, and a lot of things too, people ask me every once in a while, what do you do with all this stuff that you buy? We use it. Or if we don't use it, if I know it's something that one of the kids can use or the grandkids, that is why. Or we donate. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that we donate to Toys for Tots. So a lot of the like toys, things like that, I pick up throughout the year and I go ahead. And this year we did three heaping full, the um, collapsible bins from the Dollar Tree. We had three this year. And next year I want to shoot for more than that. I think it's a great place to donate to. So that's what we do. But we use the things. When I buy stuff, I use it like my tree. All Dollar Tree, except the tree itself. Everything on my tree is from the Dollar Tree. We use it. It's. I think it's great. I think the quality is there. Of course, every once in a while you find something that's a dud. But it happens even if you would buy from a, a big name store. Sometimes you get a dud. That's just, you know, the risk you take. But these are my top items. So I'm gonna show what I showed in my thumbnail first. It is the Sassy and Chic Makeup Vanishing Towels. You don't need soap with these. You just wet them with nice warm water and you go ahead and wipe your makeup off or just use it to clean your face. And I have one here that I have been using now. I can't even tell you how long. It has been a while. When I take off my makeup, I just go ahead then and use some soap, warm water, rinse out all the, you know, the mascara, foundation, whatever it may be. And they come very, very clean. But I have used it, I can't even tell you how many times, probably 50 times already. And then I just hang it, you know, somewhere to dry in the bathroom. It doesn't take long to dry. They're great. They pack well to travel. And you can spend a lot more money somewhere else buying these makeup removing wipes. So I buy them, I buy them at the Dollar Tree. One, one suggestion, when you first get it, wash it out very, very well. Don't do it through the washing machine, but just hand wash it. Use some gentle soap, whatever, wash it out, rinse it really, really well. The first time I bought it, tried it, I didn't wash it out well enough and it did leave some little fuzzies. So from there on out, I just knew, rinse it very, very well, wash it out, you know, wash it out a couple times maybe even and just hang it to dry. These are great for $1.25. They're a nice size. You, can, you can't even see my hand behind it. Nice big size. I've only ever seen them in the color pink, so I don't know if they come in other colors or not, but these are great. Nice gift basket idea. If you're going to make a like spa type basket or a makeup type basket, if you have a a teen that is just starting out, go to the Dollar Tree. That's another thing that I do not have here to show you. Their LA Colors eyeshadow palettes are absolutely amazing. I have been using them for years, years and years. I love them. I think they're coming a, a 12, 12 shade kind of square packaging. They have a new palette coming out, which I still haven't found it yet, that I think are six, six pots. I haven't found them yet, but I'm on the hunt because I want to get those and try them. But the ones that are the 12, and they come in all different color combinations, the LA Colors eyeshadow palettes. 
make a nice little gift basket for somebody that you love. And on that note, I was going to show the other thing, but I'll show this first. This, I buy several of these every year. It is the lip gloss I wear in almost every single video. I love it. I have one of these in my travel bag. I have one in my purse. I love this and I love this color. You don't get much of a color payout on it, but this is in the shade Dreamy Pink. I love it. And it, seriously, I have to, the print is so small on the bottom of this. I have to use a magnifying glass every time just to tell you the color. Dreamy Pink is what it is. It is smooth. It's not sticky, at least on me, guys. This is just my opinions. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Just a very light, very shimmery. I hope you can see that. It's just pretty. And it's what I go to every single day. Every time I put on makeup, that is what I use. I love it. Dreamy pink. I, I haven't really tried the other ones. I have a tissue sitting here. I have the clear and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm not quite sure how it works compared to this. This just has a nice little shimmer, but it's not crazy in your face, bright shimmer. Just very, very pretty. So the next thing that you could put in a spa basket. I was on the hunt. If you guys have been following me for a while, I was looking for the wet makeup removing wipes. A decent one that I liked. I'm not a fan of the Bolero. I know some of you out there love the Bolero wipes. I actually am using up a pack right now that aren't bad. But typically the Bolero wipes on me, they make me sticky. After I use them to wipe my face, I just feel sticky and I don't like that. I wanted a wipe that would take my makeup off, that would, wouldn't make me sticky, wouldn't dry out my skin. And these have been amazing. I don't know if you can see, but this is a brand new pack. I finished off a pack, showed it in one of my last finds and fails videos, and I bought another one because I like it that much. These are great. These are by Spa Scription, and these are the Pore Refining Makeup Cleansing Wipes. And how many do you get in here? 30? Yes, you get 30 wipes in here. I love these. They smell amazing. I don't know if they do anything for pores. I haven't seen any of that, but they are just nicely moistened, not drippy wet. They're not dry. I don't like pulling out a wipe and it's dry. I want one that has a little moisture to it that is going to help take my makeup off. I use them a lot when I'm putting my makeup on. If I need to touch up, if you know, if I, my hands are shaky. If you guys have been here, you know that I should show you how big they are while well, I have it out. They're a very nice size wipe. They're thick. I just like them. But what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought there, guys. But if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that my hands are shaky. So when I'm putting on my makeup, especially like really tight stuff, eyeliners, which is why I use just the eyeshadow itself to do my eyeliner on a wet little brush, mascara, <clears throat> my hands are shaky. You know, I... I slip sometimes. So I always have these on hand just to help just kind of clean up a little bit. Plus they're a cute little Q-tip to help. One trick with mascara, if you do have an accident and it touches somewhere else, if you slip, let it dry. Don't try to get it off when it's wet. Let it dry and then use a, you know, a little Q-tip to wipe it off. But sometimes I make bigger messes than that and I honestly have to start over. So I always keep these nearby. I love these. These are the spa scription. Love them. Who makes these? Is it Global Beauty? Yes, Global Beauty Care. New York, New York. But these are great. Nice scent. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I don't like overpowering scents on my face. I can't stand it. And these aren't like that. It's just a very light, clean, light, clean, just fresh scent. Like these a lot. <clears throat> and then another thing I do with those is once I do open them, I actually put them in a zippy baggie just to keep them in case the, you know, sometimes these little sticky, sticky seals become unsticky. So I just put it in a zippy bag and keep it like that. 
but these are great guys. Love them. Let me see here. What's next? May as well stay with the beauty stuff for a while, if you can call it that. I've been talking about this now for quite a while. This time of the year, my hands get dry. I've been using this on the daily. I wash my hands a lot and this is working well. I have been using this now for a, a long, long time. My gram, I think, actually used this lotion back in her day. I like this a lot. Nice little tube. I don't know if you can get a better deal somewhere else on a bigger tube, because I'm at the Dollar Tree all the time. I just grab it. And it's a two ounce, utterly smooth hand cream, absorbs fast without greasy, greasy residue. For rough, <clears throat> for rough, dry skin, and this is made in the USA. I love this stuff. I have it in my purse. I have one here in my desk. I have one in my night or my stand right beside my chair in the living room. I have one in the bedroom. I love this stuff. It works well. It does absorb without staying greasy, which I appreciate a lot. And it smells good. It's another thing that's not, just not an overpowering scent. Another thing to throw in a little gift basket for someone. You know, if you know someone that, you know, maybe in a, like a home health care type situation, somebody that's ill or maybe in a nursing type home, that would be great to give to them. Just make a nice little, nice little spa basket, men or women. Just, they would love this. Awesome product. And then... This is my lip balm that I use every single day. I have been using this for years. I love it. And I actually like the Dollar Tree's brand. I don't know if this is Dollar Tree's brand, but it's what they carry. I like it better than the name brand. The, the dupe I would consider is the Carmex brand. Don't get me wrong. I like Carmex. And if I can't find this, I do use Carmex. But this, I have one of these by my nightstand in my bedroom every single night I put this on. I never, well, I can't say never, but rarely have trap, chapped dry lips. I love this. And it is by Chap Ice, I believe. Who makes this one? This is Chap Relief Lip Protectant Cold Sore Formula, which I don't really use it for that. I just, you know, use it. And this is the medicated I'm not quite sure who makes this, but I believe it's Chap Ice. And you can see this one, it's empty. I get down there <laughs> in every nook and cranny to get it out because I love this so much. And I have been having trouble finding it. Sometimes they have it just in a single pack. But this time of the year, usually they had a two pack. So I would grab two of them. I can't find it. I can find this, I guess it's this brand in the um, like chapstick type tubes. I can't find it in these little pots, but I have this everywhere in the house. It's like this lotion. I have this in my travel bag. I have it in my makeup bag. I have it in my nightstand. I have it in the stand beside my chair. It's just great. And you know, I think the expiration date on this was way past. Yeah, it said expired in May of 21 and I was still using it. That's how long this lasts. And it was still perfectly fine but I love this stuff. It is like a yellow, like a clearish, like a milky yellow color, but I still see there's a little tiny bit in there. So this is just gonna sit right here until it's all completely gone. But I love this. I hope, you're, I hope you can see that. It just works great. Let me see. And then another like beauty type item, this hairbrush, this one in particular, it is white and it has a, a um, like a goldish little band around here. It is the paddle brush, the um, cushioned paddle brush. I love this. I actually went and bought another one. And if I see them still there when I go back to the store, I will buy another one just to have it, put it away. Because these don't last forever. They're $1.25. I am horrible on this kind of stuff. I drop them on the floor. They break. Usually where the, a brush is going to break is right here. I have super glued them back together just to keep them lasting a little bit longer because I love this brush. I think Allison may have actually showed this same brush, but in black in one of her last hauls, the Holistic Homesteader. She has now seen that these brushes are amazing. 
They don't hurt your head. They help detangle. I just love these. And brushes can be very, very expensive. So yeah, if you see this, pick this up and give it a try. It has white bristles with kind of a like, um, I guess it's like a peachy pink, the little thingies at the end. I don't even know what color you would call that, but kind of like an orangey peach. But these work great. I love them. Another thing that I have everywhere. And you know, when I buy multiples of something, it's wonderful. And then also in the healthcare type section, their baby powder. This is the cornstarch baby powder. It's talc free. We don't use talc baby powders anymore. This is the perfect purity, soft and silky smooth, pure cornstarch baby powder with aloe vera and vitamin E. I've never seen any other like combination, like, you know, maybe without aloe vera. I haven't seen anything like that. They're always like this. You get nine ounces of in here. Me and hubby both use this. Any of you people out there that use powder, try this. It's cornstarch, 100% cornstarch. It has the sprinkle top. I hope you can see that, but just a regular powder sprinkle top. This is excellent. We love it. And there is one from Walmart as well. <clears throat> when I can't find it at Dollar Tree, because you know how that goes, this will disappear off the shelf for a little while. There is one at Dollar Tree too that is a 100% um, cornstarch. And it's in, in a bigger bottle. And I, I don't know the price of it, but that's like my second favorite powder. But this is amazing. We love it. And then a couple food items. If you guys have been watching me, you know, I love this paste. This is the perfect size jar. Love it. This is in the mild, the paste picante sauce original. I buy this. I always have several on the shelf and this is an eight ounce jar. I make, um, I use it all the time, but we use it just to dip with tortilla chips. But I also, I make a recipe where I just fry my pork chops in like a little bit of butter, fry them till they're nice and golden brown, salt, pepper, whatever spices you would want on it. Dump a jar of this in, let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. It is delicious. And I know a lot of you have tried it and love it. I know one of you have tr has tried it in the, making it in the crock pot and said it was delicious that way. This is great. You can use this for so many things other than just using it with chips, to dip with chips. You could do the same thing with chicken breast. If you like chicken breast, fry it till it's golden brown and then just dump this over and let it simmer, whatever, chicken legs, thighs, whatever. It is so, so good. Love it. And I like the mild myself. I'm not a super spicy kind of girl. I would rather have mild when it comes to this type of thing. So that's why I always pick this up. Honestly, I don't even know if Dollar Tree has hot, you know, I always get mild. I have to look, but I, th I think they may, at least medium. The other food item, guys, you guys knew this was coming. I love these. This is by TJ Farm Select, the pepper stir fry. And you get yellow onion, red, yellow, and green bell peppers. <clears throat> and it's a 12 ounce bag in the freezer section. We love this. Hubby loves this. I love this. It just makes life so much easier, convenient. I. Every bag I've ever had, I've had a nice selection of the onions to pepper. So good, so quick, so easy. You can throw this in with this, with your pork chops. I've used this so many ways with fried potatoes. I just, you know, I throw these in, fry them up along with the potatoes till they're golden brown. We've used them in casseroles. We've used them in omelets, just everything. And you get a lot in here. Usually one bag is like two servings for us. I can just split the bag in half and then put the rest of the, the other half of the bag, stuttering, the other half of the bag in the freezer and use it for another, another dish. So good. Love it. And then my garbage bags, guys. I love these garbage bags. Yeah, I'm talking about garbage bags in my top items from the Dollar Tree. I still think they're a great deal. Prices are going up everywhere. So if you compare, you know, price to price from here to there, I think these are a great deal. This is a bag, this is a box that I actually showed in yesterday's um, 
finds and fails video that needs to go in the trash, but I wanted to show you. Pay attention because right now they have boxes with 15. So every time I go to the store, if they're still there, I pick up another box to have on the shelf, $1.25 for 15 garbage bags. These work great for us. Like I've said in almost every video where I show them, if you put sharp objects in, you're gonna rip your bag. If you shove them too full, you're gonna rip your bag. But that happens with every garbage bag brand out there. These are thick, they're sturdy, typical garbage can size, the 13 gallon garbage can size bag. These are the tie top, you have to tie it yourself. And this is the lemon scent, it's just what I pick up. They have other scents, but um, you can't really smell it. The scents don't, they don't linger. And these are by Good Scents and they are made in the USA grab them every single time we go. I think I have four boxes now of the 15 count on the shelf. And if they're there, I'm going to, I'm going to buy them again. And then this is open guys. This is the parchment paper sheets that I have been using, loving for two or three years now. Absolutely love them. Allison keeps talking about switching. I should be switching to the non bleached par parchment paper sheets. So I probably will do that sometime in the near future, but these are amazing. They're so convenient. They're pre-cut for you, and they're called durable parchment paper sheets. You get 25 sheets in here, and they're 15 inch by 10.75 inch. They fit my cookie sheets perfectly. These are also made in the USA. And I don't know who the company is that actually makes these, Who makes these? AIB International, Durable Packaging International, and they are from Wheeling, Illinois. So yeah, I love these. They are amazing. They work great this time of the year. I go through them like crazy, and this is another item that comes and goes. You'll see them, mountains of it, and then next thing you know, they are gone. People scoop them up, and I've had trouble finding them right now in the store, but I think I have two more boxes on the shelf. So when they're gone, I probably will try to find a um, non-bleached version. I wish Dollar Tree would come out with that, but if you like convenience, pick these up. They're amazing. Is it a better value getting it on the roll? Probably, but I just don't like fighting with the rolls. These work great. And then guys, I think my last thing are these sunglasses and these sunglasses in particular. I am hard on my sunglasses. I own better sunglasses, but on the daily, these are the ones I go to. And it's another thing that I have them everywhere. I have them in the vehicles. I have them in my purse. I have one that uh, this pair, this pair exactly that sits right here on this desk because our deck is right out there. So whenever I'm going to go outside, I throw these on. They're blue, they're navy blue, which it's probably gonna be hard for you to see that, but they have this thicker side, so it blocks the sun coming in on the side of my eyes. And it has the, um, like it's darker at the top, lighter at the bottom type lens, which I love. And they're navy blue, they go with everything, they're nice and sturdy. I've sat on them, which I do break them as well. They Nothing lasts forever, I think I said that before, but I just, I like the style of these. You're gonna see my ring lights. They're just amazing. They're the perfect darkness at the top. I have very, very sensitive eyes. When it is sunny out, when there's snow on the ground, oh my goodness, I am just about blind. I wear sunglasses all the time, and these are my favorite. Even over, over my name brand, sunglasses. These are great. <clears throat> and they also have them in black. And I believe they have them in white. And I can't remember what color the lens is in the white, but the black is a black lens. And it's a solid black lens. It's not darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. I wish they would come out with ones that were darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. But these are great. If you see them and you want a pair of sunglasses that work well, $1.25, and I believe these are also like UVA protection in them. I, these don't have a sticker on, of course, for me to read to you, but these are amazing. Love them. All right, guys, I think that is it. Those are my top items. I could go on and on. I could go on and on and on of my top items from the Dollar Tree. You guys know that. I love the Dollar Tree. It It's my go-to for 
a lot of things we use, the majority of things we use. So I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you see something in here that you have tried and you like or you don't like, comment down below and let people know what your opinions are. All right, everyone. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.